Pokemon Moon at Nuzlocke. I apologize for having no episode yesterday. I miscounted, and I could have sworn I had a video covered uh, for yesterday, but clearly I did not. Um, this guy's standing here. Uh, can you just put it in my PC? I grabbed the Munchalax because... No, you can't just put it in the PC. Um, I keep forgetting to grab the Munchalax in this game. Uh, it's an event Munchalax. I'm not going to use it for the lock or anything. Uh, I just wanted to grab it. Don't forget, if you have the game and you have not yet grabbed Munchlax, uh, hop into Mystery Gift and connect via internet. Because I believe you can only get the Munchlax until, like, January, like, 2nd or something? At the start of January. And then, then you're done. Because it, it, it's not just the Munchlax. You can find Munchlax in this game. It's a Munchlax that comes with Snorlium Z. No, I don't want to give it a nickname. Snorlium Z, and it has two event-only moves that there's no other way. Yeah, there's Snorlium Z. There's no other way for you to get a Pokemon with these moves other than through events. Uh, what is it called? There's Happy Hour and I believe Hold Back? Hold Back I could be wrong about. But I know Happy Hour is an event move. But Hold Back is essentially um, False Swipe. And it's a nice cherish ball. Alright, so you're just gonna sit right over there. Alright, so, it is daytime. Or it, well, it should be. Let's double check. I, I didn't go outside to double check. I mean, not daytime. It is technically daytime in real life. Which means it's nighttime in the game. So, we can get a Route 16 counter. As well as it being nighttime, I went and got our nighttime Zygarde cells. So, we're going to get something else here. There you are. Spoonies, oh fuck. I didn't think this through. Um. Well, Spoonie? Okay, it didn't use Pursuit. Oh! I don't know if it gets Pursuit. I mean, it's a dark type. I did not. <laughs> I do not want that to hit me. Um, I can't really damage it either. But yeah, I went to grab Zygarde cells, and we are going to hop into that house that I mentioned we would be in soon once I get 50 cells. Because I didn't want to go in before that. Because technically you can get a bunch of encounters, gift encounters, through this house. Technically. Um, but I don't want to abuse it. I want one and one only. So, Raticate, are you... Is it male? I didn't even bother to check if it was male or female. I hope you're male. Something's telling me it's female, though. Uh, this gourmet Pokemon... Gourmet? This gourmet Pokemon is particular about the taste and freshness of its food. Restaurants where Raticate live have a good reputation. Ha! Huh. Interesting. It is female. Damn it! Yeah, I was about to say, well, what's... Hold on. So, male Alolan Radicates, I named Danny DeVito. I need to make sure I spell this right. Nope, there it is. So, a female form of Danny DeVito. Roseanne works. <laughs> Alright, let's check you out, Roseanne. Uh, gluttony, and a terrible nature. All right, you're never being used. Into the box you go. <laughs> okay, so there's a Rod 16 encounter. Uh, let's hop in here. I hope I don't need an empty space in my party. Hopefully this can go straight to the box, but... Hello, long time no see. I've been waiting for you. Now let me explain about the reassembly unit. Sina, you, you don't waste even a second. Have you been collecting Zygarde cells and cores? Yes, I have. Not cores. I've not seen a core yet. We will do that here in a sec. Well, maybe. Uh, you've collected ten or more cells and cores combined. Anyway, I'll explain. Reassembly unit is a device that has something to do with the Pokemon Zygarde. The machine is capable of assembly and separation of Zygarde. Assembly is to create a Pokemon called Zygarde. Now, Dexio, it's your turn. 
Oh, Cena, Cena, Cena. Anyway, there are two ways to assemble the Zygarde. Uh, one is to add cells to collect... Uh, you collect it to Zygarde. The other is to create a new Zygarde with only cells. Next, we'll explain about separation. To separate Zygarde, it means to return Zygarde to, the, to its cells. Separated cells will return to the Zygarde cube. For your information, according to the research by the professor who sent us to Alola, Zygarde is divided into 100 cells and cores. Depending on the number of cells and cores, the shape of Zygarde will be different. In other words, Zygarde changes its form. Zygarde is said to maintain the order of the Kalos region. Then why is it in Alola? Is it a sign that something is about to happen? If you collect Zygarde cells and cores, you may get the answer anyhow. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. So, this room is now our- hello. Zygarde cube is a mysterious object in which you can store your Zygarde cells and cores. I heard that a professor called Sycamore in the Kalos region found it. I don't know if this machine tells you how many I have. Uh, just if you're curious, I have 54. So we go uh, up to this machine here. What would you like to do? Assembly. Select how you'd like to assemble Zygarde using the cube only. Uh, Zygarde will be assembled with the cores and cells in the Zygarde cube only. The 50% stored in the Zygarde cube will be used to assemble Zygarde 50% form. Is that okay? Yes. So I could use this and get five 10% Zygards if I wanted to. If I get what I it said I had 54, if I get six more, I can make a 50% and a 10%. I'm only going to use one, and that is why I wanted to wait until 50. Also because I used the 10% form in my son playthrough, and um, I didn't want it again. So a new Zygarde has been assembled. Zygarde 50% form, Zygarde has gone into a Pokeball. I wonder if you need to have at least a Pokeball on hand to do this, or if one just magically happens. But Zygarde has been added to the Pokedex. Look at you. Look at you. Uh, the Order Pokemon, it's thought to be monitoring the ecosystem. There are rumors that even greater power lies hidden within it. Like to give a nickname to Zygarde? Yes. Yes, I would. This. Of course. Of course. Back. Our starter from our previous lock, the, the red uh, 721 lock, is back. Burbsneck is here. What are you? Uh, terrible. Sassy nature. Fuck. Wait, is it because Spoonie's up front? I just realized because that's what the Raticate was too. Now, technically, based on the system, I could dis dis uh, disassemble Zygarde and build it back it up for a different nature. I'm not going to do that, because again, kind of cheatsy, ain't about it. But Burbsneck, so I'm very, very tempted to put Burbsneck on the party, um, but I want to give our new, our new Crocorock a chance. I want to give it a chance. If it's not working, then we're probably gonna grab Burb's Neck. Because ground uh, is very, very valuable to us. But also got Dragon, which is a type we do not yet have. Um, there's, okay, I need Spoonie to get out of, out of the front. Uh, Macho needs to go in front for our next encounter over in the, the next route, which I believe there's only one Mon that we can catch at this point because we just got Raticate. Um, Lumetto into Route 17. I'm looking at all the Mons. No, there's actually... Okay, there are two Mons we can get. Um, the question is, which one do I go for? So I'm, I'm gonna just straight up tell you, it's nothing like super fancy. Uh, Eridos, because it's nighttime. Uh, and then there's a separate section here on Route 17. I'm not actually all that good in fights, but no one will pick fights with me as long as I'm in Team Skull, you know? Are you sure about that? Also, this house is one of my favorites in the game. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Alolan and Meowth everywhere. And there's a... Something. This is the first we've seen of this. 
So the Rotom is going to mention, Cena wants to talk to you. I just received a signal from your Zygarde cube. That creature that just got sucked into the cube is what we call the Zygarde core. Cores are mysterious creatures that form Zygarde together with cells. Also, cores retain Zygarde's moves. You can use the Zygarde cube to teach your Zygarde a move. Why don't you try it sometime? One chance. So, if you noticed, uh, because I, I didn't, um, it's pink. All the cells are pink instead of green. And not only do they add to the total, so we should have 55... Yeah, 55 now. Um, not only 5 in the cube, because, you know, we have 50% Zygarde made. But that adds an item. I mean, not an item, a move. And you can only use it on Zygarde, so since it's not in my party, I can't really show you. But um, each each one contains a move that you can uh, use as a, like a, a move tutor. There's 1,000 arrows, 1,000 waves... Uh, Dragon, Dance, I think E-Speed? I think that's all of them. But up here, as I was saying about the encounters, this grass is separate from the green grass at the bottom of this. And there's only one Mon in this green grass that we can get that would not be, um... Hello. That would not be dupes or species. And I think I want to try and get it. Because I have tried this one before and failed. Which should give you a pretty good hint as to what it is. Because there's only been like one mon, one mon that I can remember that I have failed. Uh, but that is a goal bat. Now, you know what? You know what? I'm feeling... I'm feeling mean look. That's what you use your your speed for. To mean look me in here, huh? Okay, you do that. I'm gonna sit here and flex. Show you them glutes, as Macho is going to become a gigantic boulder. Is it? There's no way it's living. There's no way. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's what you get. Okay. So... We got a full heal. And now... Hopefully this goes quickly. Because you can get a Fero, a Gumshoe slash Raticate. There's, you know, where I was just talking about. Um, a Skarmory, we have. And a Pancham, we also have. And there's one other Mon. It was a 20%. Radicate's 30. Uh, Skarmory and Pancham are 10. So, Graveler's smack in the middle. I feel like this is faster than trying to run because Radicate's super fast. Well, I don't know about how, how fast a low on Radicate is. Level Deliciousness, level 44. But I might do a time lapse here. Um, until we find said mon, unless it's right here. Nope. Alright. I shall return. And there he is. So he tried for Geodude. That didn't work. Um, and Graveler's here. So... We're gonna go out into Shig or well. So the problem I have with Graveler, right? Uh, specifically a Lolan Graveler, being Rock Electric. It's super effective on Shigure and Aliciousness. Uh, if it has self destruct or explosion, um, these guys aren't gonna take it. Macho, I think, is like my best bet. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna switch out into Macho. Smackdown, okay, that's fine. That is fine. And before I hit it, I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna try an Ultra Ball. Let's see if I even have to touch it. Cause I'd rather not. I would very much rather not. Hey, there we go. Nice, so we caught Graveler.
perfect. Alright. So what is your dex entry? Uh, they eat rocks and often get into a scrap over them. The shock of gravelers smashing together causes, causes a flash of light and a booming noise. Hmm. I have no idea what to name you. Alright. I'm gonna name it Railgun because I know what <laughs> Go Alolan Golem looks like. And it pretty much has a mounted Railgun on it. Um... Has magnet pull neutral nature. Magnet pull is not great. It did have self destruct. I'm really tempted to use this as well, um, just because it's something new. I don't know. I don't. We have we have some interesting options right now. We have the the croc rock that's on us right now. We have Zygarde Burb's neck. Which I I feel like Burb's Neck has the lowest priority because uh, we just used Zygarde in my previous lock. It was our starter, so I'd rather take something new over this side that I need, and then here. Oh, there was a thing right there. Yeah, I'd rather take. Or yeah, yeah, that's. I'd rather take the things that aren't Zygarde over. Over Zygarde. <laughs> but all three are pretty good choice. Like, Graveler doesn't... Doesn't give us the uh, Stab Ground Marini, huh? The yeah, Graveler doesn't give us the Stab Ground, but it does give us Electric and Stab Rock. Which isn't terrible. Um, I guess Aerial Ace you. I am curious, though. Let me... What is... Does Graveler have a shitload of weaknesses? Uh, it's still... Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay. Um, let's see. I mean, it got rid of some of the, some of the times four. The only times four weak, weakness it has is ground. Um, it times four resists flying. Times two resists... Uh, Full Mantis? No, I'm staying. Still resist poison, just not to the same degree as normal Graveler. Still weak to fighting, not no longer weak to ice. Um, it's times two weak to water and grass instead of times four. Has resistance normal and fire. Is there any other resistance that it adds? No. It's no longer weak to steel. I don't know. It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. Did I go the right way? Because I know that... No, I didn't. <laughs> of course. I have to fight this guy to get back around, though. And the worst part is I need to go back around two more times. But the whole Zygarde and just clearing this route is taking a lot longer than I expected, to be honest. That's fine. Salandit. All the way out here, and you still have a Salandit. Pretty sure it evolves at, like, level 30. So, uh, what are you doing? Uh, oh, well, I mean, I, I get that it's male, but still, like... What are you doing? Just grind until you find a female Salandit. Around we go. Oh. So I would much rather, like, could you imagine if they if they added one more functionality or something to, to Mudsdale? It would be pretty good. Oh, we just did that. Like, what Mudsdale could hop up ledges instead of just being the pointless, stupid thing that it is right now. If they could hop up ledges, it would be so much better. I get that ledges are used for, like, a, a one-way entry. And Mudsdale would break that, but 
still, I think it would be nice. Poison Jab. Okay. Uh. No? Did anyone learn that? Huh, my champ can learn Poison Jab. Cover that fairy weakness. He's not fast enough to really do anything about it, though, so. I'm not gonna bother. Ooh. Give. So something I might do with the Zygards, now that I think about it, you know, uh, the Frostlass is issue. I am thinking, if I make a bunch of dogs with the rest of the cores I can find or whatever, I could break down, I mean, I could fill my box enough to get the, the next idol upgrade. That could be that could be a way to do it. I don't know how many mons I have currently. Might be able to do it if I just deposit everyone right now. I don't know. I'm gonna lull in Ratata, which like I don't know. I think it evolves level 20. So why? I don't know. I know it only evolves at night, but what are you doing? Bouncing level 30 or 45 once learning Leaf Storm. No, it's a strong ass move, but that's special. On a physical attacker. Oh, you have you just have both. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna leech like you as well, because it's super effective. Gone. And Spoony hitting level 43 once learned future sight. Uh what is your moveset looking like right now? Charge being calm mind sight. Nah. Nah, I'm good. Snappy hitting level 34. Yep, you did get crushed. You did. Uh, yes, I would like to use another one. Uh, see, I saw this. This is a giant pile of berries, which means there is a Pokemon feeding on it. Um, so whenever I was looking for that Graveler, I saw that I could have come down here and got myself a Cabrawler. There's probably going to be another route where getting a Cabrawler would be our best bet. Rather, only bet. I don't know. Um, Aerial Ace and get up out. Cabrawler would be a kind of neat backup to Machamp if something were to happen. Because it does evolve. I'm not going to say what, because we have yet to see or hear about its evolution. Uh, in this point in the game. But it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Alright. Ganlon something, Citrus, and Rost. Noise. Alright. So. Let's see this event real quick. Yo, what's up? You wanna join Team Skull? Hold up, is that a C ring? For real, you're actually on the island challenge? Alright, then I get it. Came to laugh at us losers who gave, who gave up on the island challenge, huh? You showed us, you showed up so suddenly you got the nerve to laugh at me. <laughs> yes, because you guys are great. Oh, it's a double battle. Oh, nice. I don't know who. We have Hunter and Drowsy, both in I think nest balls. I should really know what ball that is, considering it's on my banner. <laughs> I think it's Nest. So Drowsy and Haunter, oh my god. Mixed with the rain, this is disgusting. Alright. Um... I need this Drowsy gone. I mean, it's just a Drowsy, I'm not too afraid of it. But it is super effective against both mons that are out here. Oh, gone. Gone! And I used the rock move, just in case, so I could hit Haunter if need be. Confuse Ray! Oh! Oh. And there it is. There it is. Alright. Aerial Ace. And, you know, dual chop. Show him the secret tag. If he lives. 
<laughs> Which he does not. That's fine. You're on a whole other level than me. I just gotta laugh at myself. The island challenge made you way too strong. That's what you think. This ain't even my final form. Not fair. I hate strong kids like you. I'm not letting you in. But I, I just... Well, all right. You there, boy. <laughs> He's one of my favorite characters in this entire game. By the way, that house we saw was his. With all the meows. He is, he is amazing. Seems to me you're trying to get into Poe Town. But, uh, you sure, you sure you've thought this through? We better be ready for thinking of coming in here. Ready to live as Team Skull or ready to take on Team Skull? You really think you're ready for that? Maybe? Run back home, kid. Saying yes puts me in there, and considering the time uh, we're at in the episode, we do not have time to really dive into this. Next episode, we should be able to clear... Well, hopefully, we will be able to clear the entirety of Poe Town in one swing. Which was, was what I was shooting for. I was thinking about able to do it today, but clearly that was not the case. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode again. Sorry there wasn't one yesterday. Uh, I'm out of school now. I am finally on break, so I shouldn't have any other days missed. So, yeah. Again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.